Hello there and welcome to another video and today in this video I will be going over how to generate consistent images in Leonardo AI and if that sounds about right then let's head right in. So I will be going over my previous generations and we'll do this by going to personal feed. Basically we're currently on uh, your generations and this is where you'll see um, all the generations you've made so far all the image generations you've had so far in the past and this is basically where they're they'll all be right so uh, we're not doing any new uh, image generation in this video so I'll just be going over my previous generations and just going over some tips on how best to generate consistent characters so as you can see here this is more or less a James Bond type character I'll just uh, open it up, right? You can see this is basically a James Bond type character and this is the prompt right here that I used for this. Now do note the prompt, right? So I'll close this up. I'll close it up and uh, right. So I basically used the same for this character right here, this and equally this. So what we're going to do is that we're going to, uh, you've seen the prompt, right? So I'll just go ahead and click on this. And basically it's the same prompt the only difference is I made a little modifications to this and that's basically why it kind of seems like he's like so I'll just move on to the next over here. as you can see it's basically the same prompt right it's basically the same the same um, it's basically uh, the same image it's all basically consistent I mean the difference isn't really that much uh on this but this was i wasn't really impressed at the consistency it seemed too much and that's basically because the image uh guidance was actually um high it was actually high right so that's basically why this is so um right so that's basically the issue i had with this so like i said earlier I did use one of these images as reference. I'm thinking this one. I can't really remember as reference. Okay, it should be this one. Definitely this one as reference. But I actually scaled up the image guidance. And uh, so this is basically what I got. It didn't really give me that difference. The, oh, the basic difference I saw was the difference in uh, looks. Uh, most of the generations looked older than the other. And then I switched over and as you can see, these are a bit consistent. Oh, let's uh, go into this one. So this is basically consistent and all I did was just change a few keywords in the actual prompt itself. And I basically got this, um, right, right, as you can see. So this is basically it. Although there are some issues, there are some issues right here. Now uh, you can add negative prompts. I'll just go over exactly how I got to use uh, the image as a um, how I got to use the image as a image for guidance rather so I changed the model later on to Leonardo uh, diffusion and this was basically the result I got so you can see the consistency uh, in the character the difference is basically in the pose right so I tried uh, something else and I can't really say I was impressed with this, right? I can't really say I was impressed with this, but, uh, but it, it, it tried to make it a bit consistent, but in the, it's not, it didn't really give me the consistency I was looking for, right? So that's basically the issue I had with this one, right? So that, but this one did work well for me. Right, this one did work well. I, all I had to do was use an image as guidance. Uh, I generated this image and then I used it as guidance. And uh, the variations I got was this and of course uh, something like this, which I till now really can't make any sense out of. All right, so, right. So hopefully so far that makes sense. Um, so I got to modify um, I got to make some modifications and tried some other prompts and I kind of like was looking at something like this, right? So uh, this and this and I use, I think I used this as this one 
as uh, an image guidance for some other prompts or uh, some other generations rather I use the same prompts but I used uh, this image this one right here I use the same prompt right and I used this image right here and I was able to get something like this as you can see it's basically the same prompt all I had to do is change a few keywords uh, and I got something like this and this and this which I really don't know how it re related to but you can see the consistency uh, between the uh, previous two so um, I took some time off and I thought of a better idea so I tried changing the model as well as um, including some extra uh, tweaking some extra settings on Leonardo AI and uh, I used alchemy and um, uh, preset I use uh, cinematic I set the depth uh, to high uh, raw mode on I and I use photo real right so those are basically uh, what I used on this particular one so as you can see the the prompt right here uh, just try to note the prompt right here it's gonna be a bit difficult so try to note the prompt so uh, this was so this is the one the the image I used uh, as a guide so basically note the prompt it starts with uh, envision a captivating portrait of a boy uh, and entraptured by the wond wonders of the world around him so that's basically how it starts right right there now this is what I use note the the um, I think I'll just click in just so we see this clearly so this is basically it uh, let's just wait for this to load up it's a bit blurry all right so hopefully it's a bit clearer so uh, uh, it looks real it looks realistic right I that's basically what I was looking for something realistic and at the same time something that was a bit close up um, so I could easily switch um, I could easily tweak the prompt to kind of change a few things but at the same time keep the keep the image consistent so this is basically what I used as uh, my image guidance and it really worked because uh, this is a one of the results I got I was looking for uh, the I, I, all I had to do was remove a few just add yeah I added a keyword I added smiling and this is basically what I got as a variation so uh, if I if you compare this to this The difference isn't really that much. Um, uh, you will notice some major changes in uh, the scene or the general appearance of the person or the character, depending on the image um, strength, image to image strength you use. So that will equally uh, matter. But the bottom line is, I was able to use the same image as image guidance and at the same time produce variations while changing uh, some keywords. It's mostly safe to add um, to add one or two keywords just so the difference isn't that much. That way your image remains consistent else uh, you might be looking at a major change. So uh, from this point I kind of added, removed the smiling and added uh, something like laughing and I'll just show you an example of that so it's somewhere around um, now let's see let's see let's see famous artist just so you I just I, I just want to uh, highlight uh, what exactly I added what exactly I removed um, all right so so this is basically here while laughing so this is the image while laughing is basically the same prompt but while laughing and this one has smiling so hopefully that made sense hopefully that made sense it's more or less an issue of having your image generated and then using that image as a guidance so uh, first of all I would have tried some examples but I really don't want this video to be too long so I just took my time to actually create these to generate the images and then uh, thought about going over the settings so I'll just go over to image generation just so I show you how to use a generated image as 
uh, guidance. So you can do this by downloading the image. So uh, it can work. You can do that by downloading the image, but it might be a bit of a stress to having to download the image, then importing it back into your project. So uh, if you hover over the image right here at the top, you will see this um, you will see this right here and it says use as image guidance input so that's basically how it worked so I'll just go straight down so this was uh, my first set of uh, generations um, this this and of course this and this is the one I used as guidance so I uh, used it as guidance and I, I was able to generate these, these variations so after that I tweaked it a little bit and decided to add some laughing to it this I used um, smiling on this one and this I used laughing on this one so you can note the settings over here they're basically st really straightforward so alchemy and photo real now uh, those are basically um, uh, all you need to know for that and the photo strength I set it to 3.0 um, sorry uh, 0 0.3 0 0.30 rather so you can uh, tweak this it will like generally it will determine it's best to keep it um, just keep it somewhere around uh, here like it's what whatever whatever um, just play around with this play, play around with this and just try to find a way to um, play with the settings but the the key is your prompt should be consistent so the consistency actually lies within your prompt first step is to generate a, a to get a prompt you can use chat gpt or any uh, source out there if you're you are not talented enough to actually uh, be descriptive about what exactly you want but you have an idea so you can do that uh, so yeah get your prompts uh, use your prompt to generate an image use that image as guidance and then tweak some settings and depending on what you're looking for I just use photo real and alchemy because uh, well they just they just seemed I was just looking for something realistic right and then tweak the the image the image strength uh, that will equally determine um, how well the uh, late the image generated looks uh, like the previous one right so hopefully that makes sense and then you would want to tweak some um, basically whatever it is you want to have this character look or do then you can um, do something like that there right so hopefully that makes sense hopefully that makes sense so yeah that, that's basically it for this video if this video did give you some insights or tips on how best to create consistent characters in leonardo ai then do well to leave a like on this video and of course subscribe to the channel for more tips and tutorials and i will see you in another video